My name is Nick Zarella, and I am traveling as a missionary to the country of Japan. The BBFI Fellowship has actually been in Japan for 70 years this year, and we're excited about that because we have a little bit of groundwork and some uh, experience in that field, but it is the second largest unreached people group in this world right now, and so there's a lot of work to do, but the uh, Bible Baptist Fellowship missionaries have done an excellent job with planting churches and training up nationals to continue to take on that work. Right now, there is a movement away from some of those traditional uh, religious activities that the older generation of Japan used to be a part of and the youth are, are in a sense rebelling away from those things and so there is an opportunity especially in the urban environments for for Japanese to come to Christ being what will happen is they'll go back home if they make that decision to come to Jesus they'll go back home and they'll tell their family members and their friends of what they've done and Lord willing that there will be a an explosion of the gospel uh, throughout the, the nation of Japan. Well, in our new world, we've got things like YouTube where you can do a lot of research on the people, on the religion, on the environment. We've got textbooks and books on uh, all those different traditional backgrounds of Japan, the history and the religion. And so a lot of background study before we get to the field. One of the important things about an Asiatic society is to know about the people because they've had such a long and rich history. Know about the people, know about what they believe so that when you go there, you can cultivate the land. Before you plant those seeds, you can cultivate the land and have some dialogue with them and show them your interest in them. And so likewise, they have interest in you and your ministry. And ultimately, the goal is that they will see, as you begin to plant those seeds for Christ, they will see that, that the Bible and that Christ and that the truth pervades and, and, and is, is better than, in, in a sense, is better than what they have believed and, and come to Christ. So our desire is to work in, in the outskirts, the outer uh, municipalities of, of Tokyo with a Japanese pastor uh, in order that we might, number one, be thrown into the language uh, learning curve. We, if the, the, the issue sometimes of working with other missionaries is that you have a tendency to want to only speak English. We want our learning with the language and the culture to, to be forefront. And so we might not start out fully you know, working in the depth of ministry as we might want to and as we desire to. There will be those opportunities to evangelize and to go out and to reach people, but we need to make sure that we know the culture, that we know the people, and we know the language in order that we might communicate them on a deeper and better and more profound way to express the gospel of Jesus Christ as would be glorifying unto Him. Well, our slogan is, We for Japan, Japan for Christ. And the whole point, the whole meaning of that is, yes, my wife and I, we are going to the nation in order to reach this, this people group that are so unreached in the world for the gospel, but it's a partnership with our churches and with our church people. It's we, it's all of us together as a group, as, as a Bible-believing people to be gone, to go out and to reach the Japanese and the nation of, Jap of Japan with the gospel of Christ. And so we're just excited to be able to partnership alongside of churches, to partnership alongside and, and bring people along for the ride that the Lord has called us on. And, and we just praise the Lord and give him all the glory and the praise and the honor for that.